chest and make four turnings. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic parallel and fist turns. I'll see you in the next video. So guys here I'm setting up my two arrest and I'm making sure that it's not going to catch against the timber I'm working with. So I'm going to hold the scooch chisel by placing four fingers underneath and my thumb resting on top of it. Now we're, we're going to be using a plane in action here so again we're going to use the bottom section of the scooch chisel. Now start from left to right, right to left, whatever you feel, and notice I have the angle of the chisel facing away from me. So if I'm working towards the right, I have an acute angle, and then towards the left, I have an obtuse. Again, this is very beneficial, guys, if you want to get a cylinder or a taper right down to straight. Again, here I'm just checking, and I can see that my cylinder is completely the same diameter. So I'm just going to mark on a simple taper here guys, again using my template. And I'll have the bottom section of this taper at a required um, dimension. And I'm going to use the skew chisel just to get me started here, so to get the initial taper in line. So here guys I'm using the roughing gouge to just get that straight line initially started and I can come along then and use my skew chisel to clean up my taper. So once you have the initial shape made you can move your tool rest around so it's as close to the workpiece as possible without it catching or hitting against it. trick with using a skew chisel again guys is a really slow steady movement so your movement should be more or less machine like no stopping just keep progressing through again we're using the bottom section of the blade so make sure you have your tool rest greater than halfway above the middle of your piece It's a really good way of getting clean, straight lines, guys. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.